Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chemical Reactions. I'm Chuck. And I'm Juliet. Shout out to the Chem Squad and to the Circle of Death. If you just happen to show up here and don't know anything about us, maybe just give us a chance, just watch the video. And then if you like what you see, consider subscribing. If you've been watching us for a while, you know, still not quite sure, how about a nice smile? We encourage you strongly to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then, yeah, feel free to pick whichever side of our subscriber base you want to pick. All right. So, uh, Road to Notfest. Today, we're going to go to Gojira. Uh, and for those who say, where's Devil and I, who won our, our survey late last week, we're going to have it next week. Since we already did a Slipknot, you know, this week, we're going to have Devil and I next week. So today we're going to do Gojira, Flying Whales, and I have to admit, so we did L'Enfant Sauvage, what, like, maybe four weeks ago, five weeks ago, and usually I try not to listen to any other songs from the bands we discover, you know, because I want to be able to discover them on the channel, but man, Gojira was just too good, so, um, and apparently I have the EQ of a toddler, so I listened to a bunch of songs including flying whales so i know but so what we decided to do so to keep it a bit fresh i'm going to do a live version instead of the studio version so i'm just looking at the live versions there is live at brixton academy uh and it looks like it's about two minutes shorter than the studio version and then there's live at resurrection fest in 2014. i think most of the ones i've seen requested said do the live at Brixton Academy. So we'll do that one. As always, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to go watch it for yourself. Sorry to pause so quick. Uh, I'll try to let it go after. But just for context. So, um, first of all, it sounds super heavy. I think heavier than the studio version. And second, the studio version has a much, much longer build-up. Oh. It starts with some... For about 20 bars. And then it starts to merge in with the... Dun, dun. That's probably where the essentially the two minutes shorter. That's that whole intro that's gone from this version. Then they're going straight into headbang, boom, let's do this. All right, let's keep it going. Over us, on us, 
signature change exact same thing with pretty much every single song we listen to which is but i'm gonna say it again please i like the instrumental i want a melody i want to be able to sing along to a song like i'm not expecting like floor jansen style like symphonic death metal vocals with everything that we listen to I just want to be able to sing along and to understand what they're saying. Mm. And it's a great song. I just wish I could sing to it. All right, all right. Why don't we do this? Let's, let's do just a quick medley of the studio version so we can hear the difference, right? I think this was... It's 2013 now. Okay, yeah, so 2013. So I guess then eight years after the album came out. So like most bands, they take the time to kind of change the, uh, you know, uh, the song to still have fun playing it and, and make it fun for their audience as well. So let's just listen to a bit of the studio version so we can see the difference and see if maybe you'll like it. So what I'll do, I'll kind of take a few different like short clips from different points of this song, just to, to give you a flavor. That's the intro. Yeah, it's definitely not as heavy. Yeah. It's when that intro stops, and then they start to feel the And now I can't hear you anymore. You see, they build it a bit slower yeah. than the live version. I 
like this better. Yeah. All right. So just to give you a quick flavor of what the studio version looks yeah. like, right? I think the studio version to me is maybe a bit more prog. They mm. really take the time to establish kind of the ambiance of the of the song for like two and a half minutes. Yeah. Right. They're essentially. And then yeah. and then I think I think to what you were looking for, I, I think Joe has a bit more of a melody in his vocals in the studio version. Right. No, I'm definitely a bigger fan of the studio version. Yeah, and I don't know, like in the in the in the show, that might have been you know, down on the set list. So we might have yeah. gotten horse a bit. It sounded a bit more horse in the live version than he does on mm -hmm. the studio version. So I, yeah. So maybe bad choice on my on my side. Cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This is this is a great song, right? I, I can see why this is the one that everyone is requesting. This is yeah probably their their more their most progressive anthem. You know, they're really taking their time. Should we talk a bit about yes. the lyrics? I have to find the whales. Yeah, so I think to understand the lyrics, um, I think you might have seen from La Fon Sauvage and our discussion when we did it, they're 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 you know they're they're very environmentally conscious, right? They're um, they have a lot of of things that they really uh, hold dear, right? As a band, as a as a philosophy, but I think Joe, the the vocalist also likes to do like astral projections mm. and i believe this song uh is essentially him representing one of his astral projections Interesting. so, so that's is normally you don't see flying whales right yeah so like the flood on earth again i have to find the whales that once did guide us to dry lands of life i won't despair i'll break the stark around right so very much kind of yeah a mental journey under a heavy sea, I'll search the flight of whales. Now I can see the whales. Yeah, exactly. Looming out of the dark like arrows in the sky. I can't believe my eyes, but it's true. You know, he's managed to find his flying whales. Good for him. Swimming giants in the clear. I'm on the wing wide open. They teach me how to fly slowly moving in the air, right? So I think you need to be willing to... Kind of uh, appreciate embrace, the embrace presence disbelief. of the whales. Yes, embrace this belief a bit if you want to enjoy this yeah. to its full capacity. Now it's interesting. Yeah. All right, metal tomatoes. Eighty four. All right, we'll have to keep searching some Gojira. I think we may have to do the the heavier stuff next time. Heavier stuff with melody. All right, so keep that in mind. Heavier stuff with melody from Gojira, so that we can hopefully find something. That fits with what Juliet's looking for. To me, this is a. I have to say, I know it's it's a lot of people's favorite Gojira song. It's not mine. I think it's a great song, but um, you know, not my favorite Gojira song. It's still to me a solid ninety-two. Okay. All right. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Yeah, so those for whom this is your favorite Gojira song. Tell us why. Yeah, tell us why. We want to know. Yeah, compare. Like, is it more of the progressive aspect? You like more of the progressive aspect? Maybe Call me more. out for being wrong. Yeah, yeah, please do. Yeah, yeah. Convince Juliet that this is a great song. All right. And, not and the aggressively. Other, yeah, and the other mission. Find her some Gojira songs. She wants more melody. She's fine with heavy, more melody find us some great songs to do i think you have a lot of things to do in the comments can't wait to hear from you thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us we will see you next time Peace.